All right, guys, recently you would have seen a couple things change in the shop. We got two new table saws uh, and we moved the other table saw here. We're getting rid of a table saw. We've moved some equipment around all in the name of efficiency, better workflow, things like that, including here on the miter bench in, uh, integrating this uh, radial arm saw, stuff like that. The one thing that we still need to work on is this corner right here. It is absolutely garbage because uh, it's too deep. It only works for bench top storage, which is dumb because it gets full of dust. It gets forgotten about. It's hard to reach. Let me try to grab. Can't reach the freaking shell. <laughs> we need to do something about that so it's a more usable, uh, worker friendly esque type space if that makes sense. So this is the before, and this is the after. Way, way better. As you can tell, it is drastically different, uh, but it has way better functionality, way better efficiency. There's way more room. Uh, this It's been like this for a few days, so we even had a chance to test it out uh, here and there. Let's see if I can reach that turtle shell. Ugh! Way easier with all the space. And so much room for activities. <laughs> in addition to being able to reach all the way in the back corner here, because there's nothing in the way, there's so much more room in this area, we have, we now have a somewhat dedicated sanding area here. Uh, the spindle sander, along with the drill press and the scroll saw, used to be in this area here. And it was very inconvenient because it blocked the banger hanger here. Uh, it, it is still blocked, to be fair, but that's just kind of a catch-all at the moment. We have plans for this that we'll tackle later. Uh, but anyway, moving the spindle sander here. Uh, I was just given this by my brother Dave, which I love. It's pretty quiet. Compared to this one, I hate it. I barely ever used it because of this. Obviously has some bearing issues or whatever. I, I oil it all the time, but it doesn't last very long. This is kind of junk, but we have it here, so I brought it here, so whatever. Um, this has become a sanding corner because we wanted to move this spindle sander here uh, to kind of keep it away from the forced air that just turned on. It's just, it's better. Uh, we will do some sort of dust collection at some point for these machines, but we've already, and this was Clint's idea, uh, started on that with this downdraft table, uh, which was very easy to quickly whip up. Thank you, Clint, for this suggestion. Basically how it works is we pick this up, turn that on. It might be a little hard to see. But basically, it goes down into these holes, down here, and then into the bag. As you can tell, ours is a little pieced together with scraps, but it works great. Like I've said many times in my videos, this shop, what we call the daydream shop, is a prototype, if you will, of the dream shop that we will build sometime in the future. And it's things like this that'll influence how we design that shop and how we set it up. I'm very pleased with this. In fact, it kind of makes me want to just delve into a project so that I can keep using it. Okay, so I've had this uh, piece of cedar here for a while. My grandfather brought it up. He actually made his deck out of some cedar that he felled and milled up and hand draw knifed, hewn, not hewn. Hewn is like the, what is hewn? That's like the chinking, right? Yeah, so he basically just took a uh, one of those draw knives. draw knives to it and uh, 
this is just the chunk that he had left over and it's got this checking in it which i love imperfections in in the wood uh it's one of my uh criteria when i like pick a piece of wood uh for something you know i want it to have a built-in story if you will and uh i think this has does it have it? I don't freaking know. <laughs> I like the piece of wood, so that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, it was it was Rogers, so good enough story. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the bandsaw here. Using the table saw would work. It's way cleaner. But part of what I'm going for is not a clean job. Right. So, although I don't want it to be clean. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I didn't know your fingers were in there. <laughs> Shit. Here, let me grab a, another okay. thumb to... A wider shim or something, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to go too when you're. Oh, you're ready to go? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's actually not bad. I'm kind of surprised. Because yeah. this pan saw is usually Yeah. Well, my idea is kind of a primitive design. So I didn't, I don't mind like a, what would you call it? Modern primitive? I don't, I don't know. You know I want the tooling marks in there and I wanted it to be like, Ugh. Okay. yeah, yeah. So I was thinking that would work. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly just yet, but I got two pieces here. But if you're ready to go, then I'm ready to go. That's cool. Uh, I do think that we need a new blade for this thing. Yeah. Would be nice to actually just get that a new bandsaw. Pretty, it would be. Yeah, one of those big Rikon ones. The only reason I keep, well, that one is because I put the riser block on it so that I can cut stuff like that. Yeah. But it's a super crappy bandsaw. Yeah, when I use a, a good one of my buddies, uh, I didn't realize they were supposed to cut that nerve. Yeah, they just like butter some of them. I cut it with one hand while I was holding the phone in my hand and I'm, I'm just to show people how easy it was. And yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy. All right, guys. Um... Wow, why don't you tell me it looked stupid? <laughs> we are uh, going to uh, one of Clint's clients. It's not the No Jack one that we went to last time I went on a client run. I don't even know what you'd call it exactly, but sure. it's a, it's another place that- I've done a... very little work at this house. But a friend of mine uh, does a lot of art work slash construction stuff, a little more along the line of Josh's style. Um, like this guy's hood range fan for his kitchen is made out of an old John Deere uh, hood. So, which is kind of cool. I could see Josh doing something like that. I don't necessarily think that way. So, um, yeah, it'll be interesting for you guys to kind of see some of his place. Hopefully he's, he should be good with us filming some, I think. Um, yeah, otherwise this is for no reason. Yeah, I had a concrete countertop I poured a year ago there. And after a year, one end of the concrete countertop bowed up. Not something I've ever seen before. <laughs> so we'll go check it out and see what we can do about it. And uh, and hopefully he lets us see his house. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah, and, and hoping my friend that did their, his work before is now trying to uh, get his vintage car restoration company going. And that's what he would like to do full time. So 
So you might be taking over the future projects in this home. I'm hoping, yeah, yeah. There could be some pretty uh, projects. He's got like a man cave in the basement he wants to do. It's just kind of an ongoing thing. Okay. So we'll see. Okay, he's got some cool old heavy equipment here and stuff. No work truck too. So do I ask him or do you ask him if it's okay to film? I'll ask him. Sure. All right. Good, how are you? Good, sir. Good, sir. My friend Josh that I share shop with. Hello, Hello. He shares his shop with me. Are you the artist? I, some people think I'm an artist. Oh, that's freaking cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, there's Steven. Good. Busy? Oh, it's been fairly busy, but, yeah. you know. That's cool. This is that chunk of petrified wood I was telling you about. Oh, yeah. Do you mind if he does any uh, videoing for no, his YouTube fine. channel? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's a cool piece. It is a cool piece. That is that awesome. Piece. Yeah, that is a cool piece. Yeah. That took a little work. Huh? Let's get some. Come on in, you guys. So, you just get back from a trip? Uh, no, I've been around uh, most of the way. I was down on the Vancouver Island, actually, uh, last time. Uh, working or playing? Oh, I've been a few times, yeah. Okay. okay. So Clint tells me that Warren has a freaking sick house, thinks that I'll really like it, and I can already see. I'm probably going to ask him after we figure out the countertop stuff uh, if we can't get a uh, tour, because this is really cool. Oh, that's like a, a gas thing. Texaco? Um, what Warren does for a living... I don't think it's related to oil and gas and stuff, but it, maybe it's adjacent. I don't know. He does uh, eco cleanup stuff. He owns a company that like goes around the world. Like right now, they're cleaning up Agent Orange uh, in Vietnam, like a bunch of hectares of land. They just rehab the soil so that it uh, can grow stuff again. But anyway, let's see what's up with this counter. Right. If you just look down here, you can see it. It works. Hold up the that broke that board. That is so crazy. Yes. Wow, that's thick too. On the front. Yeah, but on the front, but it yeah. still is pretty thick. And it doesn't make sense. Because you're probably an inch and a half on across thickness? It was, yeah. Wow, that is weird. That is really crazy. And it took that's a year hard. to do that. Well, you know, so. it probably you know, it was probably doing it three or four months ago, or five months ago. I never, It's got quite I never really picked up on it until a buddy of mine was sitting here about a month ago. And he says, holy curse boy, look at that. And I never got down and looked at it, but it starts back here. It's curled at your stove board. Oh, at the other end, Did sure it is. down here? So yeah, sure it is. Both ends have curled up, which yeah. don't make any sense. Yeah, I, yeah, I never noticed that. Maybe you're right, it's curled up at that end. Holy, that big old whoop right now. So it's, I figured this would crack. Yeah, that's, that did that's, that right away. That's pretty normal. And that did that right away. That was within the I've first never month. had one ever do this before. But I never noticed this end before. Really. I think, I mean, or maybe this, maybe the dishwasher's not sitting in level. That's what I Because it is think. down on here. Yeah. I okay. So. But there's a bit of a, right where Josh is right now. Yeah, that's where it starts going it's, up. It's, it's kind of got a bit of a yeah. whoop we do and then cruises up. Man, that's crazy. It's moved like almost an inch, right? Like right on that corner. Well, no, it's fine. You're not worried about it? I'm not worried about it. You sure? Well, what are we going to do with it? I don't know. <laughs> I had thought, I forgot how thick it was. I thought, hey, what if we stood on this corner and see oh, if Oh, I've stood on it already. Boys. Yes. <laughs> <Have you? laughs> see, if, yeah. see if we can make a crack you know, in it what, and then what's, fill it with what's epoxy. Sur what surprises me, though, is it's only on this one corner. It has a curl back here. It would have lifted that up. Oh yeah. We're right. a little boat here, so maybe it's come up a bit. But I, that was probably yeah, made a, a bit. The concrete. Uh, but backsplash, but yeah. it's only this corner that seems to lift. It, that, you know, if it, it was moisture there, you would have thought it would have went like this. Right. That is true. But only that corner. It would be cool though if you cracked it and filled it with epoxy. It would. Kind of like how you have the. The doors. This door here. Yeah. That's cool. But see, did Paul make that? No, I made that. You made that one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I did a couple of 
Nice. Just to keep the doggies. Yeah, just keep oh, it's a dog oh, door. Nice. Yeah, it's a dog door. That looks great, Warren, with the antler. Antler in yeah. it. Yeah. Little antler. Very cool. I haven't seen all this finished. Oh one. yeah, and then my old John Deere range hood. When he uh, off old combine. Yeah. Cut it off my neighbor's combine. That'd be like a 1976 version. Right? Yeah, that and is freaking paint. cool. Yeah, original paint and. Uh, That's yeah, so awesome. Yeah, a little touch there. Oh, look at that. oh yeah. Yeah, I've got the lights in there. Yeah, I see why you wanted me to see it. That's yeah. freaking sick. And then we There's did a big slab too. Josh, yeah. So this thing when they brought it back. Oh, oh and these are the that's the logging. That, no, that's my brand actually. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I was just f***ing with my brand and iron one day. Oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, this looks good. This turned out nice. Yeah, this turned out really good. Yeah, that's a big old coffee grinder or something. But yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Back in the late teens and early 20s, they had a little train track set up on the backside to cart and coal out. Oh, yeah. And one of these carts was fell off. Oh, I'm right in the nuts. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, the other door's open. And, uh, <laughs> what the hey. Heck? Did he bite you? He nibbled. When he no, 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 no. He just, he just. Wants to smell your nuts? I guess so. Josh just has got a whole bunch of dogs. So. Just canned me. <laughs> hey, come on, you guys. Go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. That's us. Let's go. Yeah. This is cool too, yeah. That is. So Clint was telling me that your house is super dope. Would you mind? Would you be opposed to doing a little tour for my YouTube sure. channel? Yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, no. Because everything looks super cool. Yeah, like, cool stuff. This is off a of, uh, hundred year old uh, gravel crusher. And oh, yeah. A bit, bit, big belt. That would have been on a shaft. And it would have had a big belt on here that turned it. Oh, yeah, yeah. So my, my buddy had it, and it was rotten in the dirt for quite a while. He gave it to me, and I thought, well, I'll make a lampshade out of it, or I'll do something with it. And yeah. Brought it in here, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, and it ended up sitting there, and just became kind of a catch-all, so. It, it just kind of works. It's you know, cool. Kind of, I like the upcycling thing. A lot of butter for you, know, that's a, mm -hmm. that was quite a piece of work to build out 100 years ago. Yeah. So, yeah, the, so, um... Paul took those wheels I found there, and then he made a coffee table for him. Oh, Paul made that? Yeah, Paul made that for him. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I did it with the spikes. That's cool. You have a lot of cool things so, in here. A lot of cool pieces. A little, little bit about history, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Right. This town. I, got, I found the old three bottom, two, one bottom plow that plowed all this ground back in the early 20s, and I brought it up out of the bush and got it out on the front lawn. And I just like that sort of stuff, right? we got a couple of furniture projects we're making in the shop right now i yeah. said to josh i said well we'll show you when we're done see if there's anything you might be interested uh -huh. in maybe yeah but yeah that piece i like that's really cool. yeah i love the so like i said paul's style is much more your style yeah than yeah than my style then i yeah. did, did this door in here that's nice too Okay, we have to start from like the beginning there's so well, much i stuff. really should clean my house before you do a nice yeah. YouTube video <laughs> come here here so, so what i did in here i hit a couple antique wrenches Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just oh, a little, cool. Little character, all right. Oh, I love how you use the antlers. That is great. Yeah, that worked out really well there. This is cool too. Yeah, I got another one here. You might as well just. Uh, do it. So all the maple you see, that door there, the other epoxy door, all one tree. Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, one tree. So I did this one with a little red. Yeah. And it brought it down and over. I've got a light oh, yeah. that lights this up, but the light burned out. Oh, that Maybe. sucks. It's embedded, so yeah. you can't even change it. Yeah. Well, I can get in there and do some. I can drill some holes up into it. Oh sure, there. yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, do a little bit of work in there. Well, I'll just uh, I'll uh, show you what I was up to downstairs yesterday. Yeah. I got a uh, little gun cabinet out of the farm. Oh, nice. So I ripped it out of my farm. Okay, cool. And I brought it up and I put it in here the other day. Just built some heavy planks and set it up on. That looks great. Yeah, it's giving me a little more organization in here. Yeah. <laughs> the nightmare it was before in a nice collection. Awesome. Then a buddy of mine built the deer horn rack for me, little deer horns I had, Josh, but he took it and then live Oh, yeah, yeah. carved a deer and a duck in it. He's really... Oh, that almost looks like the old John Deere Yeah, logo. it does look like the old John Deere deer, yeah. Are you going to put your fly rod uh, ones up in here? Yeah, you know, I'm just, somewhere? yeah, they are kind of, I was just looking at them. Yeah. Up. Well, probably I'm going to put them up there on the wall. Move okay. stuff around. A little bit of work to tidy up the wall there a little bit, but yeah. just... Stuff. Very cool. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah, it's looking good. Big grass marsh duck factory. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, there you are. Yeah, there you are. There you go. You guys know what this is? 
That's what that is. Why is it a horse? You'll probably never guess. Nope. No idea. Uh. Other than some kind of a duck blind thing or something, but I don't know why. Pretty horse. close. Horse blind? <laughs> pretty close. To... Is it? It's a snow goose decoy. Oh, okay. You get two guys. Yeah. And you walk on behind it. Right? And you oh, so and you walk and you'd walk a circle around them. And every time you walk in, like you would hold just this come in. Walk with yeah, them. with your gun here, and you, there's straps on either side, so it takes two guys to run it. Yeah. And then you just walk a circle, walk a circle, walk a circle, get in closer, get in closer. Yeah. And then throw it down and start hammering. That's okay. Nice. That's. Yeah. I'm going to hang it up on the wall here somewhere. That's and then clever. I kind of like old toys, Josh. Yeah. I kind of like the old steam toys. Uh, yeah, look at all the ones. The old here. drag lines, and I love these old steam toys like this. Cool. Yep. I got a little shovel. Another steam toy. Yeah. And then just some old dozers and construction stuff that I just kind of like that old stuff. I like your uh, oh, your so your baseboards. baseboards. I was telling you about that. Yeah, the, with the, the box probably. joints yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, Paul did all that work. My neighbor yeah. had the barn wood. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, we put it all there. We did the so you kind of have finished this a bit since I was. Oh, last probably. Year. Yeah. I mean, did you have the barn? No, it was all. We just did it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So this is still that same tree. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And then what I did back here is I had this. Oh, uh, you put, I remember that. I found this old spark sink that my neighbor had. And I turned it into my wet bar, right? That is awesome. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And then just got the storage and stuff. Very cool. Yeah, it worked out really well. That's, this is a. This is nice. That's the Eva Unt Otto Zimmerman. 19, well, you had that over here. Or before, yeah, right? exactly. It was there. And then we just put it up on a couple legs and kind of made my bath behind for it. Yeah. Okay, that yeah, turned out kind of cool. Very cool. That probably was a wedding present back in the day for a German couple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, or even. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 2014? Yeah. Okay. But all hand carved, right? Eh? Yeah. It's beautiful. Like frick. Yeah, that's a lot of work. To get it without it up? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, pretty, like, that's pretty nice. It looks there. great, yeah. Right? So, yeah. So these are just different pieces I found over the years and I kind of collected Josh and then yeah. finally got out here and kind of had room to kind of put everything and uh, old radios and... I like how you dressed oh, up the... Well, what we had, Josh, is we had telephones, right? So I had one there, and oh, one yeah. there, and one there. So we just played it out both sides with that metal. Yeah. And I was able to put a little bigger post there, beamed across to that one, and was able to lose those three teleposts. Oh, the... Yeah, it looks good. I don't think it'll ever go anywhere. That's some of those guys I wanted to make some of these when I came back from right. Nova Scotia. Tackle cool. blocks, yeah. Yeah, it's just the old wood ones. Yeah. So many of those I've seen back east. Yeah. I like the light bulbs you have, those big ass light bulbs. <laughs> yeah. well, I, got, I was going to go change my, all my. Like, change them because I didn't like them. They were just a regular little light bulb. Yeah. And I got at Home Depot. Like, Geez, these are kind of cool. So I brought a couple home and thought, well, you know, that's not a bad look. Yeah. Well, I just went that direction rather than changing everything. And then in here, uh, I haven't really... What's a cool little cabin? Yeah, a buddy of mine had that made. That's awesome. Supposed to replicate the cabin across the road. Okay. Then did a little bit of live engine here. I thought about putting my gun room in here, but I'll probably leave it back in there now. Right. To keep okay. the bedroom. Okay. So I just hooked everything out of there and into here and slowly taking it back. Cool. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you've done it for a bit since this last year. Yeah, yeah, we had. Just about done. Yeah, not, not a whole lot left, really. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I should probably take you to my shop. And yeah. Show you my shop. I got a few trinkets up there too. More tractors and no dozers trim. and that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, bear trap. <laughs> He's upstairs uh, locked. It's really cool too. Oh, I like this uh, grill you got here, Warren. Yeah, that's off about a 47 case. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, buddy had mine added, so I took it and painted it all up and thought, oh, this is such a nice piece too. <laughs> well, story on that. Apparently, I come out of a hunter's lodge, uh, probably hmm. England or Scotland, and you know the curved, carved duck oh, yeah, and yeah. whatnot. But they called it a hunter's hutch. Is what they called it. Okay. This is an old desk I brought up from my farm the other day. My grandpa would have built that in the '30s. Oh really? Yeah. Cool. I brought it from Maine. Painted it. So I'm gonna find a home for that somewhere. Oh, yeah, skis are asking. Everything's got a story. Those were given to my dad on his. Uh, so my dad had a twin brother. And that was their Christmas present when they were 12. Oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. So my uncle gave it to me and I uh, 
Oh yeah. And then I did a bathroom over here. The laundry used to be in the basement in that camera room. Oh, okay. And I didn't want my uh, too far down. Too far down. <laughs> so then I uh, did a bathroom in here. Okay. And uh, just had a nice big shower in and moved my laundry up and found some old armoires and found the old cast iron sink in the cabin. Oh, cool. Oh, just nice. On, just on an old vanity, right? Mounted it in the old vanity. Yeah. Josh's bathroom, he's got an old, uh, it's a letter desk. What, what's your It's desk? a railroad desk. Railroad, railroad desk. desk. Yeah. yeah. For sure. With a round bowl on yeah. the top, similar to this. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that worked out well, that old cast iron thing. That's awesome. I like the open shower. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's cool. I get a little sputter on the floor, but it's not too bad. What's the story on the wolf? Uh, the wolf I was working at Fort Chip. And we're doing a project in there with the natives. We spent about a year and a half in there with them. Yeah. And at the end, they give me that wolf belt. Oh, that's cool. For a present. The other guy got a Wolverine. I got the black wolf. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Even pretty animal room there. Yeah. Looks a big spot. Yeah. A little bit of stuff. This is an old penny scale. Um. They come with the coffee grinder, actually. Oh, did they? <laughs> yeah, I bought the set off the antique store that day. Okay. I thought they kind of just went part and parcel. They do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kind of a cool piece, though. That'd and you nice. actually use that coffee grinder daily. For yeah, pretty well daily. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Just perk all my coffee. <laughs> this is a picture of my dad and his twin brother back in, uh, that would have been uh, 1944, 43. Oh, okay. They were born in 39, so they're about four or five years old there. My mom's farm. Do you have any of that equipment anymore? No. No, no but I got my, I've got this tractor. My uncle has that tractor. Bought new in 36. Oh, cool. And I'm hoping it's coming my direction. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here's some cool stuff, Josh. This is stuff I found in the dirt and doing a project in downtown Honolulu. Oh, this yeah. is an opium ampule that the Chinese would have done opium out of. Right, yeah. We found thousands of these in the soil. So the story was, um, China, Chinatown, just on the east side of Honolulu, uh, they were getting sick. So we're going to go back into the late 1800s. And they were getting sick. And uh, so the white man come in and burnt the town down, moved them all out, burnt it to the ground, gathered all that refuse up, buried it down in the swamp. 20 years later, Texaco comes in, builds a tank farm on it for Bunker C. 100 years later, I'm in there digging through it all, cleaning that Bunker C. Up. And we found literally thousands of bottles. Oh, wow. Doll heads. Uh, oh, that's that's crazy. So that's how cool. old would these be from? Late 1800s. Oh, wow. Yeah. Porcelain, there's ceramic doorknobs to little sake teacups. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Found some... Um, oh, that's cool. We found some six-sided Arctic soda bottles and uh, found two of them. And they were worth over 3000 bucks a piece to a local bottle. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, they were hand-blowing six-sided crazy bottles. That's right? crazy. Yeah. So I like just a little bit of history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There for sure. And what else is an old record player from the twenties? So they're kind of fun to play with. Is it still? Uh, oh yeah, it still works. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, one of wow. one of the ones with the like the old gramophones. Oh, what is that? That's a real fossil. Yeah. Yeah. I have no idea out of what. And my grandfather's a gun from Denmark when he came over. Yeah, just some. I got, I like that old sign there. Old gold cigarettes, not a cough and a carload. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good advertisement. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sitting around the table, oh, how can we sell our cigarettes? Not a oh, cough, not and, a a cough and a carload. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then we hung the old steel wheel up there. That was a chore. Oh yeah. Use that tap and block from downstairs and put that up there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a, let's really in our shop. Sure. Hey, pup. We're about to go uh, check out the shop and Clint can't yeah. find his shoes. One of the dogs must oh, have yeah, stolen them. Right yeah. okay. He brought them outside, you think? <laughs> oh, you don't got them? Thank you. He's 
Yeah. This one don't got him? No, she won't take him. He, only he will. This is a cool table, too. I, I didn't notice that at first. Yeah, a little slate table, and then the little, the little pew come out of a, a church by St. Paul. Oh, this. Yeah, this little, That's awesome. little pew. What the heck? <laughs> you found one. Few moments later. There we go. Got them shoes back. <laughs> All right, let's see your shop. Yeah. <laughs> I need to sell them. It's a 73 CJ. Yeah, it's I never drive it though. No? But it goes way too fast. Does it? Yeah. Over oh, here I got some stuff over the years. Look at that drill press. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, 1909 or 1919 Hurt Car little. 24, kind of a rare tractor. You know, most yeah. of them were the uh, 2448. Yeah. All these run? All of them run, yeah. yeah. Do, do you use them or they're just display pieces? Oh, you clearly have driven this one around. Oh, yeah, I've used this one. I've used this one a fair bit, pushing dirt with. Yeah. Yeah, this is a 51 OC4, it's called, so four cylinder, little gas. Okay. Kind of a rare one in the fact that it was a row crop tractor because it's got the white axles on it, uh -huh. but still had a blade. Uh -huh. Most of these were designed just to pull. Sure. Very few of them would have ever had a blade on it. And then I got quite a few of these little pump motors. I think these things. These little things. That was just for running equipment, right? Running pumps, running yeah. old generators. This never the true pop, 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 pop. Our friend Peter's got a whole bunch of those too. Oh. And a bunch of tractors also. Yeah. Yeah. He's I got should a... sell these things. Then. Hmm. then I got a few over here. Massive Ferguson ones. All different sizes there. Seven of them. Yeah, they're kind of cool. The old plane, the old Texaco. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, what kind of a lifetime of collecting, right? We were just out at uh, Alaskan Equipment. Mm. That's a... Is Larry, is Larry still alive? I don't know. There's the, the tall 90-year-old walking around there. I, there's a couple dudes at the front there that are pretty old. <laughs> like he's tall and thin and yeah. gray hair, fairly thin face. I feel like he maybe is still Oh, yeah, oh, yeah the he's, cheek pincher guy, yeah. The what guy? The cheek pincher guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's an amazing guy. Is he? I feel like anybody. the stuff he has there, he's going to have stuff sitting there for the next 500 years. And we'll he's never got get... a lot of stuff. And then you'll be the guy who cleans up the land Maybe. and rehabs he's, it back to... He's, he's had that property for 40 years. He's got years a lot of stuff there. Oh. It's a bit of a maker heaven for guys like us. Yeah. There. Oh, absolutely. We're in there looking for some legs for a table and found some... Yeah. We're going to be building right, a table here soon. Thing that guys roll pipe on to weld it. Mm -hmm. Perfect, exactly. Well, yeah, you, Josh, for what you're doing. Yeah. They're, they're, I only know two or three or four places that would rival that place for the amount of for stuff, stuff and just unordinary stuff. But yeah, there's yeah. a lot of interesting stuff there if you get looking. And one of the better boilers. Yeah. I feel like the price goes up when he knows you're making cool stuff out of it. Uh, oh, it totally does. <laughs> oh, it just goes up if he knows you if he knows you want it. Yeah. yeah, it's true. I mean, half of it, I'm kind of like, really, you want that for it? Like, this is going to sit here for years. Nobody wants this, right? Yeah. Well, he's the sort of guy you really got to grind with. Yeah. That project will be coming up in a future vlog. Me and Clint are working on a couple projects together. Okay. Thanks for uh, showing us the, the shop and the house, even though you didn't figure it was uh, clean. I don't, I don't care at all. I like looking at cool stuff. Yes, thanks for having us out. Countertop is doing weird shit. Well, we'll see what it does. If it... Yeah, if you want to do something with it, let me know. Yeah, what would you do? Break it, My epoxy. Salt on it there, yeah. Or, or literally Just see if we could crack get it. us all stand on it and crack it, and then fill it with epoxy. Yeah. Could be cool looking. And yeah. then put lights in it like you did in the yeah. bathroom or whatever. I'm not opposed to that. An idea that I had for my shop because the there's lots of frost heave yeah. oh, and yeah. stuff i was i thought it would be cool to put orange and red and yellow epoxy through there and yeah. led lights to make it look like it's glowing lava yeah. yeah yeah that'd be cool to do on the yeah mm -hmm. if you could get it to crack that big well you could chase the crack out right yeah chase the crack out. yeah well thanks for coming out all right good to meet you yeah absolutely josh 
I'll come, I'll come by your shop one day and check you out. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. All right, see you yeah, take care, Glenn. Have a good day. I'm glad you asked me to come here. It's a cool place, eh? It is and cool. Warren's a super nice guy. He is nice. Very mellow and just yeah, very nice super guy. chill. Yeah. This is a sketchiest shitty little bridge. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know why it's not a little wider or something. <laughs> not enough people live here yet. I guess so. Or something. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of far out. Yeah. So if you guys watch Clint's early videos, you might be able to find where he would walk the drag lines that are just around here. I mean, there's a smaller one. So that scaffolding looking that white thing thing. I can't really see it from here, we'd see it better on the highway. They can kind of see it. Most of them are all gone. They decommissioned them and sent them over to Australia. Oh yeah? Yeah. And so what did you do? We used to service them. Okay, so those lines there, that's the office for the day. <laughs> So we're sitting about 250 feet up now. All right, so here we are, hanging out in the middle of the cables. We're about uh, filthy. filthy up here, yeah. You can see Ken and James over there. The vehicle's way down there. Tie, tie off and then walk down the lines and inspect the lines and the locks and, and then fix whatever needs to be fixed when it needed to be. Up at the tip was about 280 feet high. Right. And there was like infrastructure for you to walk on, right? Oh, yeah. Built There's onto the machine. Set of stairs and catwalks. Yeah. And for the most part. Now, not when we went. As soon as you left the boom out onto the cables, your pier just walked Yeah, on, on the, the cable, yeah. On four inch cable ropes, they call them. But this is where they haul all the coal that they dig from the coal mines. Right. Bring it here. Uh, I guess it's essentially burn it off, turn it into steam, which is then creating power from that. Right. So the several, three or four of these that we have still running around here are what we get all our power from, but now they're all switching to natural gas. Right. And not uh, excavating the coal anymore. Did you know I uh, delivered pizza to this place a couple times? Oh, did you? I yeah. The plant? Yeah, so from Spruce Grove, that's like a 45 minute drive. Yeah. And uh, no tip either time. No? No. That's funny. <laughs> no, and it was like a $250 order. Just like, you know, like 30 pizzas or whatever it was. Yeah. Those trees are all black. Yeah. But they're still alive. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna get back to making this bench out of this cedar log.
faces gaunt, their eyes were blurred, their shirts all soaked with sweat. He's riding hard to catch that herd, but he ain't caught them yet. Cause they got to ride forever on that range upon the sky. <laughs> yeah, these are legs. These ones are fur. I don't know where we at though. I don't know how it's gonna be. Save your soul from hell, a riding on a range. Then, cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. Shirts also with sweat. He's 
riding hard to catch that herd, but he ain't caught them yet. Cause they got to ride forever on that range upon the sky, on horses snorting fire. If they ride on here, they cry. Do you think this would look stupid if I... I was gonna put gals in here to hide the hardware, obviously. But would it be dumb if I had them proud? Oh, well, if you had them proud? I don't know, it would look stupid, but there's a high chance that someone would sit their ass on that. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't be that high, obviously. Mm -hmm. I, I'd make open it up so that this could fit in there. And then I, I would sand it down a little bit, but I wonder what it would look like, you know? It's the same wood as this, so... It would it look literally dumb? Look like mini baseball bats. <laughs> yeah, they kind of do, huh? I don't know. I'm gonna try it because I can always just sand it down to nothing. Yeah. I just want to see what it looks like. I'm thinking of uh, Warren. Is that what his name is? Yeah, I was thinking of his coffee table. Of course, he wouldn't sit on his coffee table. He had those metal squares. Oh yeah, right. Sticking up from the coffee table. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, that's kind of uh, influencing yeah, yeah. what I'm thinking here. Right. I think I'll do it, try it up. and regret it, uh, if I regret it. <laughs> Try to match the angle. In real life, if this was a through tannin, it, it wouldn't even make sense because it's thick down here and thick up here. There's, there's no way that would even. Yeah. That other one is really cool. On this one? Side? Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's very, uh, I've been watching the, the series The Chosen, yeah. and some of the furniture and stuff they would have there would be like that. Something like this? Yeah. Now they definitely look like baseball bats, like this is like the little... Yeah, totally, yeah, yeah. Whatever. It's still kind of cool. Okay, I gotta sand them all. Save your soul from hell, a rotten on our range. Then, cowboy, change your ways today, or with us you will ride. Trying to catch the devil's herd across these endless skies. I gotta wait for that uh, to dry. It might take a while, but since my painting is dry, I can move on. There isn't actually going to be a video of this painting, but if you follow my Instagram, I will share a 
finished picture, the end result, and prints will be available as they are with most of my paintings. By the way, he's wearing a windbreaker by accident. I didn't know I was going to do this, and I just think it's hilarious. There we go. Okay, it's been a couple hours. I think it should be dry by now, hopefully. Maybe not. I mean, it's a lot of glue in kind of a deep crack. So I'm not sure. I put it outside because it's a little breezy out here and I, I thought that might help. It feels dry, but uh, it might not be dry on the inside. I one time did a sculptural piece of toast with the same method, a whole bunch of sawdust and glue, and that took months to dry. But this is different. Not as much. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's dry, so let's try it. I don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of did this in the wrong order. I probably should have done that before putting the legs in, but I actually didn't know I was going to fill it until I did it. I'm kind of just designing on the fly. We'll see. If it, if it needs more drying time after I take the first layer off, then I will do that. Okay. I think, I think that's good. Man, I love this thing. Pegs, you can insert there. Here, work piece from moving around. It sucks up a lot of dust. One thing I will say though, it would probably work even better in conjunction with like uh, forced dust collection, like a vacuum sucking the dust from the machines instead of just having something like this. There would probably be no dust whatsoever. So that'll be a future thing. Okay, it is a little soft, but I think I can still continue on with the next step here. I'm not too worried about it. There is no death, only a change of worlds. What is life? It is a flash of firefly in the night. It is the breath of a buffalo in the wintertime. It is as the little shadow that runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset.
Hey, how's it going? Good. Sometimes this five minute epoxy stays tacky so long when it's uh. For five minute epoxy. Yeah. That's fast. Oh yeah. I poured this ten minutes ago. It's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it was setting in the Better than that one? That one's it's still not ready. It's starting to go white, but it's very... It's very slow. Yeah, and it feels very light. So it kind of tells me, like that is just yeah. like a rock, so... All right. Look forward to that in a future video, like like I already said earlier. Is cool looking? Thank you. I wasn't sure with these uh, cracks if it would cure or not, like if it needed more air or whatever but it's, it's looking good so i left it overnight so it would be for sure good and i think it is that's cool these are cool yeah i like it hey yeah yeah it's funky looking hey what do you think of this bench minus the sloppiness i'm gonna sand that off i like it that's pretty cool looking yeah i do like how it sticks through that's neat mm -hmm. yeah in in real life if that was a through tenon Look how fat it is down we'll here. And look how fat it is there. Like, it's not possible. It's getting like really skinny. I don't know. But it's still cool how the, it does look like mini baseball bats. <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Were you going to use this? I was, but if you're sanding, go ahead. I'll oh, okay. Make, Sorry, I just. Because I'll make a heck of a mess sanding my big face there. So I thought I'll try it on this. I don't know if that will work. But... Well, I love it. Good idea. <laughs> Oh, you're leaving. All right, see ya. Have a good day. Okay, so that's way off the bench. There's nothing in the air. Yeah, you can see the dust sucking right down to the bench, eh? That's awesome. It works way better. I mean, you probably should still wear respirators. Uh, but, but I don't even taste it, and it's, this is cedar, which is right. Kinda... I can barely smell it now because it sucked it down so fast. That's incredible. Okay, it's just great. a few little more details here that I gotta do. That I wish I didn't glue these in yet, because I got <laughs> I gotta get that, and then over on the side over here, I gotta get that. <laughs> be fine that, that matches I think that goes it might be a little big maybe I don't know we'll see what Ashley thinks 
she's not home right now. Also, it would probably, if we had the uh, bottom baseboard there, it would look better. But I don't have time for that right now. I actually have physio to do. I actually can't wait because uh, I have to take a shower because uh, I'm very sweaty and dirty. But um, I'm going to be giving him his poster from another vlog 200. I hope he loves it. To be continued. Look at that. That's so annoying. <laughs> um, so this didn't get sucked down into the concrete and it's meant to, but that one there did. This one here did. All the other ones that I've done sucked in nicely. This is the last one that I did. And I figured out why it didn't suck down into the wood and into the concrete. And that's because even though the drill was going down, <laughs> it was just melting. And that sucks because I still have a few more to do. But I think we'll be okay, I hope, because I have another drill bit. It's just slightly, slightly bigger, but it's, uh, it's worth a shot. I just flip that over like it matters. the drill bit isn't too big to accept these blue screws. Well, it went into the concrete. Oh, look at that. It didn't melt. I don't know why the heck the other one melted. Okay. Yes! It worked, it's not too big. 